So first of all, I've grabbed my carrot from the fridge, and so that's what I've chosen to use from my fridge today. And so you'll need a pencil and you'll need a rubber. Okay, I've just placed my carrot on the plate. I'm just looking at the length at the moment. So I'm directly next to the carrot. I'm just marking the length of where it starts and where it ends. I put two marks on the page, the length. And we draw a line in between of that just for the middle. So we know how to measure the wet for the width of the carrot from the top end and the bottom end. Okay. And we can place that line just in the middle of them of that middle line. Okay, so I've marked both of them lines. So now we've got a good scale of what that carrot is. So it makes it a little bit easy to draw. So if you're struggling drawing, drawing the carrot and making it to scale and accurate and good proportions. This is how you do it. Okay, so now I'm starting slowly to just to draw the outline of the carrot. Looking at the carrot very closely as I'm drawing each line. Trying to get as accurate as possible. Okay, so as I'm going towards the bottom of the end of the carrot, I'm getting a little bit. It's going to taper in a little bit, just like the carrot, my carrot is in front of you. Okay, once I've done that, what I'm going to do is just draw in the little bit of the green stuff at the top. Not sure that's cool, so I apologise. But I'm just going to draw that in as well, as accurate as I can. Okay, once that's done, you can rub out all your guidelines. So the ones that you've drawn for the length and the ones that you've drawn for the width as well. And that's what I'm doing just here. So the next part, what we're going to move on to now, just in a second, is just filling in some of the texture and the detail on the carrot using directional line. So directional line is going to, what's going to make this look 3D. That's what I'm showing you with my pencil at the top of the carrot. It's that curved line to make it look three dimensional. Okay, so you're filling in the different textures. You've got little liney textures all over the carrot. So I'm just going to draw them textures on. Okay, so using directional line, curving the line when we're getting towards the, the edges of the carrot and making it straighter when, when we're doing it across. It's important, whatever fruit or vegetable, or whatever you're using in your fridge, it's to include directional lines if you need to, if it is a sort of rounded 3D object. And it's quite important to include the texture as well. So if you're just drawing just an outline of the fruit or vegetable, it's going to look very flat and very 2D. If you want it to look three-dimensional, three it is important to add them textures in and add the correct shading and tone and little bits of textures as well to make it a bit more realistic. So I'm just carry on drawing them textures on the vegetables at the moment. Right, what we're going to move on to now, I'm going to add onto mine, I'm going to add the shadow. That'll also make it a little bit more realistic if you're going for that. If you're struggling with the drawing the outline and you're drawing the texture and the directional line, you don't need to include this. This is a little extra if you want. It's a little extra piece if you want to push yourself. So if you find this a bit easy and you want to have a go a little bit more difficult, try drawing in the shade and that will just boost it up and make it a little bit more three-dimensional as well. So I'm just copying the shading I've got in front of me. So I'm just drawing that in and I'm just going to shade it quickly with my pencil. Brilliant. Once we've shaded all that, that in, Okay, and then we're going to move on to the next video, and we're going to discuss painting it with watercolours. You don't, if you don't have any watercolours, you can also use pencil crayons, and you can use felt tips. Okay. So first of all, I've grabbed my carrot from the fridge, so that's what I've chosen to use from my fridge today.